Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Today guys we again will take a look at the Great British Pound. Uh, as you can see, market in general stands uh, with the shape of the right shoulder but hasn't quite reached the destination point. And probably we will get we will see some a bit deeper bottom of the right shoulder before the pattern will be created. Who knows? But we hope that this will be particularly the pattern that we would like to get. And uh, we hope that this pattern will be the triggering one for monthly brand by the buy. Because not much time uh, left till the end of the October. And uh, to stand as the pure brand body on the monthly chart, market should start the upside action, at least should complete it, the all conditions of the double, uh, sorry, of the brand body in October. Because October is the third month below the 3x3 three three on the monthly chart. And this is the last month when the market should hit the support and start uh, upside action. Uh, that's why uh, somewhere around we should get the patron that uh, would be really the reason for uh, starting of the upside retracement on the monthly chart. So you can see uh, in general market has completed our trading plan for this current week. Uh, initially we thought that market should reach the weekly pivot point, uh, pivot resistance one that has happened. Then we said that market probably should turn down because we treat this as not just the weekly, uh, weekly pivot resistance but also as the potential neckline of this reverse head and shoulders pattern. And uh, the second stage of our trading plan uh, was uh, to get the right shoulder. And I think that uh, probably today we will get the bottom of this uh, right shoulder and, and then uh, this will be the mom moment of truth. Uh, whether market will hold at the bottom and turns to the upside or it will fail continue move down and in this case we probably uh, will have to watching more uh, to understand what is going on. Uh, but right now we are mostly will be focused on uh, the potential bottom of the right shoulder of this pattern. So right now you could see that market has taken the pause and up and downside action right in the month, uh, the weekly pivot point. Uh, on the 4 hour time frame chart today we are mostly will be watching for uh, this situation. Because uh, here you can see this potential stop grabber could appear. And if we will get this grabber right here, okay, in this case it will mean that market will take it out of these lows and uh, will continue most likely lower. That's what we will be watching for in the nearest hours. Why we think that this grabber is possible and in general why we think that market really could continue move down uh, except this grabber. First of all take a look at this really fast actions to the downside. And if you t will take a look at this development on the 4 hour time frame chart you will see that it takes the shape of the butterfly on the hourly chart that we have discussed yesterday. So you can see that market has reached the 127 butterfly target uh, better to say not just quite target but the destination point. It's very fast. And usually when the market uh, reaches fast and fa fastly approaches to the uh, to the 127 extension, it usually follows to the 1618 after some retracement. That's the first reason. Second reason, take a look at this action. It has no signs of the thrusting upside action. That's not very reversal. It's very choppy, very deep retracements, uh, very small candles, long tails here. So that is mostly the retracement and as this retracement then it should over sooner or later and as this action stands upside and this retracement then the trend should follow to the downside right it means that we will get we, we probably will will see the downward continuation right to the 1618 extension and finally take a look that here we have approximately the same situation as here so yesterday we said as market forms some sort of the bearish dynamic pressure because trend has shifted bearish but market stands 
the downside action and that's why we have made the conclusion that probably we'll get the butterfly and market will taken out of these lows. This really has happened. Here we have something of that sort. Although market is showing the upside action but it's not quite upside, it's mostly flat and trend holds bullish. So you could see that this also something is pressing on the market that doesn't let it uh, to continue move up and to accelerate to the upside. And that makes me think that probably we will get another leg down. And as this is dynamic pressure, as uh, for our stop grabber, both suggest the taking out of this loss. And if this will happen, the logical next destination will be 159.67, approximately, or it's 1618 extension um, of this butterfly. Okay. Uh, simultaneously, we could get something that will look like the free drive pattern probably. Uh, but this is not really very important because uh, the free drive, if even it will appear, it will have the same target, uh, the, for the same uh, potential reversal point in this butterfly. Because uh, the free drive will be based on the same butterfly that has been drawn here. And uh, the final destination point, the bottom of the third drive, uh, anyway, will be at the same point. That's why it's not really particularly uh, important how you will treat it as the butterfly retracement and continue to the next destination, or you will treat it as the three drive. It's really not big difference with it. So, as you can see, market is closer and closer to the our uh, final edge, the very important point where we expect to get uh, the starting of anything of the monthly uh, brand by the trade on the Great British Pound. That's why let's keep watching and particularly let's watch for this uh, point. Um, because that will be really an area 5967. Uh, so if you will take a look at it, 5967. Well, it's in general, it stands in agreement with this, as you can see, bottom of the left shoulder, and this will be slightly higher or slightly lower, that's really not the big deal. If even market will reverse uh, right at the 59.67, that will be almost perfect shape of the uh, of the reverse head and shoulders pattern. So uh, let's treat this as the potential area where we will, we will be looking, looking for the long entry. Because that will be the best opportunity for taking the long, because I, it, this situation will let you to place tight stop. Just imagine, so uh, if you will take the position right here at the neckline at the breakout, where you will place your stop. But when you place the, will take this position at the potential bottom of the right shoulder, and uh, you could place stop slightly lower because if market will fail here, the next destination, be, uh, the next destination point will be the taking out of the head. That's why uh, when you're taking position at the bottom of the right shoulder, uh, yes, you take the risk of the possible failure, but at the same time, you get the opportunity to take very tight stop. And at my personal view, uh, this is better com combination than to get more chances on the possible breakout, but to place very, very far stop if when you base trading on this hand and shoulders right at the moment of the breakout for the neckline. Besides, uh, entering here and here, it's really the big difference and that price is much better to take the position. So that's why uh, I will be watching and probably uh, we will be watching for uh, this is, This area is the potential area where we should think about the taking the long position. Besides, if even we will be wrong and market really will break through this area, uh, there is some chances exist that market will show some bounce up because this will be the weekly pivot support one and simultaneously that is the uh, point of the of the butterfly and if even minor retracement will happen out of this area based on this pattern that will probably let us to protect our position with the break even stop and we will be uh, we will have the chance to um, tight stop at the break even on the respect of this tar reversal point of this butterfly because we know that the butterfly treats has worked out uh, properly if market will, will show at least 3-8 retracement. So butterfly is not necessarily the reversal, uh, reversal pattern. Uh, the minimum target of the butterfly is the 3-8 retracement of the whole swing of the butterfly. So uh, that's why the chances on this bounce really exist. And that could be also our uh, advantage 
uh, our assistance that would let us to tighten our stop to the break even if we were trying to take the position somewhere around. So, as you can see, the situation is coming to culmination uh, on the Great British Pound, and we should uh, probably keep watching and keep a close eye on the current situation because uh, I can't exclude the chance that market really will reach this area today.